Baseball from the Lone Star State. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. And now, your 2000. All right, we'll be back to get this one started Houston. after this. Astros. Almost ready to get underway. And on the mound now, Justin Verlander. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle Leading every time that he's out there. Protected. No one should be surprised, the though, if he settles in and takes control Marcus. of the game and throws a shutout. Simeon. Ready to go now? Here is Marcus Simeon. And the pitch. That hey. one's in there. And we're underway. Hey, no outs, no outs now. Righty delivers. Line drive. Bye. Bye. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Seeger stands in now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Hey, let's roll two ball here. Let's go. Kicks and deals. Chris, when you look at Justin Verlander, what makes him so good on the mound? Well, I would say in the prime of his career, the fact that as the game went on and he got deeper into his outing, he actually gained more velocity and became more crisp. So he was one of those classic pitchers that you said, if we don't get him early, we're not going to get him at all. The one-two. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Batting third. Here's Nathaniel the Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. That's cold, right here. And that's in there for strike one. Verlander, a former MVP. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Simeon leads off now. first with one away. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Altuve. On to Jose Abreu. That's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Now here come the Astros. No score. Back here in Houston. And today's starter, Jordan Montgomery. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Mitch Garver, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boo Dixon may be a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Gonna count one, one and two. Two strikes. Hey, nobody. All right, Astros. Kicks and fires. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that, that horizontal movement, but the most of the good ones have six. both vertical depth Josh. and that horizontal movement, yeah. and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Here's Josh Young. In there for strike one. Verlander, when you talk about his skill set, he stops teams from getting hits. That's the thing that he's so good at. He's just really difficult to get base hits against. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, he's got power, and he has a reputation of being a strike thrower. So to his advantage, he can expand the zone. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Batting six. So two right down here. now, and here Adolis. is Adolis Garcia. Garcia. That's in there. It's 0-1. He can throw that fastball slightly above the top of the strike zone to get hitters to chase. He can also break it off because when you're geared up for good velocity, it's hard to stay back. You have to make a decision really early. strike two so what's the approach from an offensive perspective against a guy that doesn't give up a lot of hits I think you just kind of have to lean out over the plate and you know take your base but seriously you you just have to try swing and a miss slider got him for a strike three one two three go the Rangers we'll go to the bottom of the second no score top half of the third inning now the catcher for the Rangers the Jonah Heim Jonah Verlander back to work right side hard hit one up one down batting eight the center fielder number three Leody. here's Leody Tavares, Tavares. Verlander goes six feet five inches over 200 career wins can't forget to mention he's a former MVP strike one pitch misses and that's ball one Now fly ball to right center. Me, me. I got it, I got it, I McCormick hauls it. it in for the out. And there are two outs. Batting nine. The left fielder, number 32. So digging in, Evan, Evan Carter. Carter. Singing, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. Down, I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First pitch, oh, and he awesome. just misses. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals but he's a guy when you watch him play you would imagine that that's all he ever played in. and he got him strike three and that'll retire the side I think the key is arm action on the changeup. when you can sell it like a fastball you drop the velocity you get the swing and mess and you walk off the field All set for the Ladies start of the, the inning. Rangers. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player.
Yeah, and he comes from a really good athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college. And this guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Corey. Now Seager. it's Corey Seager. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Hey, get him with your best pitch right here. And he deals. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. He hit into a double play his first time up. Astros, come on. Wait. Now a check swing, but he held up. Two outs here. Swings through that one for strike one. The pitch. And that's outside. outside. That's, that's down and Three in. Balls, Mitch Garver waiting to hit for the Rangers. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally no, prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're gonna take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Let's go, Astros. Garver batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. Low, off of first with two away. That one way outside, and that's ball one. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Next offering is downstairs. Josh Young waits on deck. Hey, two away now. And that one in the air center field. McCormick has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. That is the inning. Rangers leave one. And we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back. Leading Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And Number leading six, it off, Josh Young. Josh Young. Hey, nobody. Here we go, Astros. Here we go. And a pitch. Blind into right. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. 
dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs Garcia. across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Man, at first, here's some real power at the plate. Adolis Garcia. That one misses. One and oh. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pitch is in for a strike. And the count one and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that one's gone. Adolis Garcia blasts one out. And they inch closer. It's Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Left field, Brantley in position. Got it, got it, got it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. And that is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Still only one out here in the inning. And now the count is even. That one laced to center and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Carter stands in now and watches strike one. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Tavares, at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Hey, we got one. The 2 Got him. Two gone. Always a tough call to make as a third base umpire. You're a long way away. It's not a great angle, and it happens so quickly, but it's part of the job, sometimes just a coin flip. Well, what do you got on it? I think he got it right. I think he went. Yeah, I think so, and I think that's a good call. But you talk to umpires, and they say sometimes it can be really difficult depending on what color the bat is, what color the uniform is. Things that you just wouldn't think about come into play when they're trying to make a quick call like that. What if we just went possession arrow? <laughs> That'd be great. Simeon in the box again, takes a strike. One for two. Close, but called a ball. And it's one and one. Late on that fastball. Two straight. Hey, no one better. Put him away right here. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. McCormick me, has me, it me, sized me. up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning.
So two runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one man left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros five and the Rangers two. And welcome back. Leading Top of the, the sixth Rangers. inning. So now it's Corey Seager. Corey Seager. Seager measures six feet, four inches, 28 years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. That's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Nobody here, nobody. Here comes the 0 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Here we go, Astros. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. And one and one two. Ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Low. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Come on, guys. There's a strike. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Swing and a ball lifted left field. No trouble it, here. It. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Now batting. Designated hitter. Mitch Garver. Two outs. Base is empty. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Mitch Garver, one of the rare Major League players who hails from New Mexico, and one of the other ones, pretty good player, third baseman for the Astros. Garver grew up playing with Alex Bregman as a kid. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count, and this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. Swings and misses, struck him out. Nothing doing here this half. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Astros six and the Rangers two. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Hey, no outs here. Verlander, back to work. And he pumps it a strike. Plays at one now. Struck him out looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call up and picks the up the strikeout looking. The right Sometimes field. with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt right if he lays out. off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. So up next, Adolis Garcia. He's already homered in this game. In there, and it's 0-1. The wind of the pitch. That one inside. And it's a ball and a strike. Hey, we got one. And now the count one, one and two Three after strength. the swing and the miss.
the pitch. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Hey, just you and him. You and yourself. Let's go. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Mine, mine, mine. Grabs it. it on the run. And there's two away. The catcher, number 28, Jonah Heim. And now Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. There's the strike. Next pitch is outside. On the ground to third. On to first. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. And it's still 8-2. Back here in Houston, and now the center fielder, Laoti Tavares. The wide to kick the pitch. There's the strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Now the 0-1. Swings through that. One ball, two straight. And nobody out now. One, two now. And another two ball. Balls, two strikes. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, now gets the out. Left fielder, Evan Carter. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Ball one, no strikes. Hey, we got one out here. The wind of the pitch. Slapped foul. Ball to strike the pitch. That's hard hit on the line. And that's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Throw and it gets away. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn this into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it. So the lineup flips over, and now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Marcus Simeon, one for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. Hey, got to hold him right here. And 
and here it comes. Nope, that's inside. Hey, we got one here. And that one oh, just down. missed off the outside edge. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And now three and one. Carter stands at third with one gone in the inning. And now it's filled up. And there's ball four. Nope. Ball four. Not a great back and forth and that at bat. Now he had to lay off some really close shot. pitches and somehow Boogie Super. found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Seeger in now takes ball one off the plate. Hey, double him up. Let's go. And that one is lifted in the air. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. Verlander done in this one, and he exits with a nice lead. Threw the ball well, and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. On the mound now, Phil Maton. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Phil Maton. In a one-run game as this one ends 10-9. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon.